guys, welcome to today's video. Um, I am so excited to share with you my huge Target home decor haul. So as I've mentioned in many videos and as you've probably seen, we have recently moved from the east to the west coast. So we sold a lot of stuff, got rid of a lot of stuff, donated a lot of stuff, and I needed to revamp our apartment and buy stuff that we needed. Um, and then I, you know, got a little extra. So I wanted to share with you guys everything that I got. I'm super excited. I think what I'm going to do is because some stuff is already like placed around the house, um, I'm going to show you that first and then I'll jump in and get started with what is behind me. So I'll start over by the doorway. I'll show you my doormat. I'll show you this lamp I got behind me. And then there's some stuff in the bathroom and kitchen I'll show you. So let's get started. I will jump in, show you what I got, and then we'll come back to the sofa. So I purchased this doormat. Um, we spend a lot of time outdoors and it does get dirty in here. So I bought this for us to put our shoes on and then we can just stick them right in the shoe closet once we get settled in. <clears throat> the next thing I got is Project 62 lamp, which I am obsessed with. It is a tripod. I thought it was very appropriate for being a YouTuber. Don't mind all the wires back here, but you just can't really see when it's stuck behind the sofa. So it just sits over there like that. I really love it. I love the brassy gold tripod and the white stand. I don't know if you can see, but like at nighttime when we light it up, these little, see if I can get it to focus. These little textures here actually are like grayish and then this white kind of turns like a cream. So it adds a different feel to it. We also needed to downsize our Keurig because we didn't have a whole lot of room. Um, so we did buy this mini Keurig and it actually works out great. I love it, I think, more than the other one because it just makes like a single cup at a time. So it's not like a ton of water is sitting in there at once. We got this hearth and hand crock pot. Um, I don't have anything in it at the moment because it's currently being occupied in the um, refrigerator, but you can see I have gotten some uses out of it already. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is I got this, this is hearth in hand. I think it was like $17.99. And then I got this from the dollar spot, it was $3. So I think that's super cute accent to the, to the bathroom. All right, I'm back. Now that you've seen everything around the house, I'm gonna jump in and get started with all this because I have a little one who is probably going to wake up soon and I wanna get this, um, get through all this before he wakes up. So, in addition to that plant that you saw in the bathroom, I also have a mini plant here from the Target Dollar Spot. It was $3 and I'm also going to put it by the Keurig machine. You can see there. And then I got these two. They were not from the Dollar Spot. They were um, Project 62 and they were $4.99 each but they actually came with like longer stems and they didn't fit where I wanted them to in the entertainment center. So I had to trim them down a lot. So they actually don't look like this. They're a lot longer. If I can find them, I'll link them anyway. But yeah, I kind of tweaked them a little bit. Is this threshold wall decor? I loved it so much. I had to get it. I can't remember. I think it might've been 25 because it was like, or 30. I said it was like 15 a piece. But anyway, I liked it so much. I thought it was originally hearth in hand and it's not, it's threshold. Um, so I would recommend this. You can do so much with it. It, it reminds me of like, it comes with two. It reminds me of like the European shutters, like opening up the windows in the morning or like you can even add like greenery and have it hang out here. I think you could do so much with this. I haven't found a spot for it yet, but I certainly will. So there you go. So you can do them like many different ways. They don't have to be just like that. You can turn them this way or that way, vertical or horizontal. And then also, because you can never have enough uh, faux plants, um, I got these $3 plants at the dollar spot. I thought they were a great accent to my eucalyptus tree behind me, although I don't think these are eucalyptus. They look more like a, what's it called? Shade Master Locust tree almost, like a tiny one, very tiny one. So I got two of these. These will most likely go by my fireplace, believe it or not, they look very good there. Um, I got this huge banana leaf plant and it was $30. There was only two sitting there and I just quick grabbed one because I feel like at that price it would go pretty fast. I know people are more into like the olive trees right now that were just released by Studio McGee, but I like it. And I feel like if I would have found this at Home Goods, it would have been a little bit more priced. 
So I did pay $30 for this and it is a Project 62. It will probably go in Lennox's playroom. I think it will offset the rest of the colors, which will be really cool. I purchased two of these baskets. Um, one is currently in Lennox's room. It, it is Opal House. And then the other one so far is just like hanging out here in our living room. I need to put like a throw blanket, I think. I just wanna find like the right one um, that matches the rest of the decor. Like these pillows and stuff, I'm gonna be getting new ones so they won't stay. But this one doesn't have the price on it, but I'll link everything below. That way you can click, check it out. Maybe there's a Target Circle app sale currently going on, but it's very pretty print. It's like a gray and a cream, you can see there. And then, I also purchased this, I think they call them like flower sack towels. They're very, very big. It looks like mine is stained already, believe it or not. But anyway, it has a little loop, so I hang it from the cabinets. Let's see here. Like this. And yeah, this is hearth in hand. It comes like rolled up. I'll show you how it comes since I've like used it already. Super pretty. I want to say this was like $7.99, $8.99, but definitely worth it since it's extra big. I use it a lot. So it came like this with like a nice black bow around it. I will link it. No worries. Um, this is also hearth in hand. I got a little sugar bowl. Sugar bowl. I actually couldn't find like one of those big sugar tubs that you can purchase. So I had to buy the ones that you pour. So this was perfect. They do sell one that's larger for like a, a bigger price, but this is what I went with. I'm gonna say it was $4.99, $5.99. I really love it. It looks pretty by the by the Keurig machine and it says sugar on it. I also, I this is Threshold and I think it's Threshold with Studio McGee, but this bowl is just to die for. I love it. It's $25. I should have picked up more because they're all gone now. Um, I will try and link it, but right now I'm using it as a fruit bowl um, until I find another use for it. I may eventually do like a, decorative accents and like spheres in here, but it's so big. It's just like natural wood, natural coloring, super pretty. The whole, it's, this is all natural. It's supposed to be like that. Um, would definitely recommend, this is like one of the most favorite things that I purchased. And then, so I mentioned in like my home goods haul that we only have a walk-in closet. We don't have like a dresser or anything that we brought with us. So at home goods, I did buy like this tiny, um, bed stand that I'm going to use to put like some clothes in and stuff but also we have like these shelves in our closet many of them it's a huge closet I will be revamping it showing you guys everything I do with it but anyway in order to store like some of our linens and stuff because we don't have a linen closet or anything like that there's not much storage I purchased a bunch of baskets and I only sh am showing you like each one of each kind that I got because I got like two of these four of this five of that so here is one of them this is by threshold storage basket um, price isn't on here but I will link it so just like very natural looking this is very good quality um, this one I would say is not as good quality and I knew that before I purchased it because the reviews online said it but I was okay with it like they there's like a lot of wood chips at the bottom that like break off. I don't want to say wood chips, but whatever this is, weave is made out of. There's a lot of it broken at the bottom. I dumped it out, um, but it's just like very flimsy. I didn't need anything super special. I liked it. It was on the cheaper side. I know why, $10, um, but I'm not bothered by it. I think it will still like hold for the purpose that I need it to. And let me just double check. I think this one may have a price and I just missed it. No, I don't see it. Okay, so I got several of these since they were $10. And then lastly, I got this basket, which is like a darker brown than the other basket. So I think it will like be a good accent compared to the other ones, just have like different baskets. Um, this one's also threshold and I don't see a price, but I will definitely link that one as well. So that concludes my Target home home decor haul there's a lot if you missed my home goods one there's a lot on that one as well um i will link as much as i can just like i said but i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more decor videos if you enjoy like the things i put together please let me know down below because 
the core is like a new thing to me it's not something i've always done but if it is something you like if you like what you see give this video a big thumbs up i'd be honored to do more you know if you enjoy seeing this type of stuff so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new and until next time we will see you later bye guys